trying the new camera 12 Pro Max iPhone 12 Pro Max this is a uh, hallway the entry the anniversary of this bus wreck is coming up in a week what a day all day huge story about that that I've shared about the two kids that were sitting right there uh, there's a uh, and Dave Gilpin Candy Avila uh, Armandis uncle me uh, Dwayne Anthony Joan Carthen Larry Lindsay Highway. Oh yeah. This one, um Wow. Larry Smith. Graduated high school with me driving this. Blew that stop sign. In front of my uncle's house there. Uh, this car that you can barely see there. Three people in it with five kids in the rear, in the bed. Amazingly, an angel watching out for them. All five kids were thrown into the canal and only suffered minor injuries. Uh, sadly, their father, mother, and their aunt all died. They were in the cab. Uh, Larry Smith is trapped in there. I talked to him and said, Ask if he's okay, basically. Kind of a crazy deal, because it was a, uh, just sad, just sad. Called for a backup unit. It's approaching, as you can see, everybody looking. That's the uh, second ambulance that was coming in. Uh, Greg and I are trying to get to the people in the cab. But like I said, that's a sad story. Um, but again, all the kids I lived, and we got to meet him lately, later. My uncle, here's another side story. My uncle was in the house, caddy corner of this accident. He ran over and grabbed, pulled three kids out of the water. So he was a hero. As, as I always said, heroes are people that, that wouldn't normally do it. I'm not a hero. I signed up for this. And uh, by the way, people thank me and all that for that service. I had to say no. The thank you was the job. You take the bad with the good. I have so many wonderful stories aside from these that you learn from all the others. Um, here, another family I met. Uh, Patty Strasser was uh, in this van here on the freeway with six friends. This was a friend at the time. They were up skiing, coming down the highway, headed home, a drunk driver on 99. All of a sudden, he's the headlights. She's driving. It's coming straight at him, hit head on. Uh, he walked away. Minor injuries, as we often see with drunk drivers. They were seriously injured. Uh, Patty, their right-hand passenger, were just critically wounded, uh, critically injured. But... Um, you know, everyone lived. And then Patty married Jeff later, and they have two kids here. So the wonderful stories that come out of this. And I'm his friends for life, obviously. There's some of my uh, achievements, I guess. My first EMT certificate. And another story came, um, uh, Mike Schnauer. I'm holding here. His sister was in the car. All these years later, I put this on Facebook. The the girl that's in the car, now grown up, of course, uh, says it was her. So I got to talk with her and connect with the brother who was a brave kid at the time. Had a head wound, but he was so worried about his sister. I remember that. I'm only 18 there. Uh, worried about his sister. Uh, there's my... Yeah, so the emergency lighting for the car. Do not cross. What else we have here since we're just filming? 
Here's the Cordoba. Look at the hood ornament. Knock off three prong. Me and that has Toby right there. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, that's a that picture there, Tory Western in the air. I can't really see it too good. Now we go into there's my work jacket. Sandy Hook Promise, Liberty Foundation, 9-11. Here we go. Here's to Larry Western, the one I was talking about. I took this from the air. There I am in the plane, getting ready to go. We took that from the air. As you can see, get in there. See if it will focus, there we go. Yeah, that was in uh, 85. So look at all the land around it. It's now all filled in. There's a, a big fence around Western now. Here's the shadow box my sister made. Cool. Told her she should have made those. Here's my baseball letter. Okay. Now, here's the... My Phoenix flashlight, TK75C. I've got the red and blue strobes going. Totally, totally dark in here. We'll see that in a second. There's again some of my... Uh, that's the Larry shirt. 343 FDNY. My rescue jacket. Um... Worn with pride in memory of our fallen brothers. And, yeah, of course, uh, National Urban Search and Rescue, FEMA, Emergency Search, uh, Search and Rescue uh, Response System, which activated several times when I was in there, of course. But, uh, Dodgers. Dodgers World Series champs this year. Lakers World Champs this year. Yay. Again. Focus. Here we go. That's some 88, 87 back to back. I was there. And again this year. Dodgers. Lakers. Now the Rams gotta pull it off. Here's my helmet. All the reflectiveness. We got the strobe is the only light here. Let me see before I get to the light. Here's one more story since I'm telling stories. Okay. Uh, um, you can see their elderly man dies beside stricken one. Um, at their LB and Leland, uh, they, um, the best friends of my grandparents. And uh, I, after my grandparents thought, I just said I adopted them as my new grandparents. I would go before work, take their blood pressure. Just a wonderful copy, company. No, no, they had one kid, but I never met that kid. So I was like their kid, wonderful. But then one morning, you know, like I was saying earlier, the, the calls, I get a call to their neighbor. So, uh, you know, not especially worried because it was the neighbor's house wasn't their dress so go out there but what had happened is they, they'd taken a walk elba had come and collapsed in the living room and died of a heart attack he ran next door told them to call uh, the ambulance then he went back that's why the call came from the neighbor didn't know the address he went back kneeled down beside her put his arm around her and his leg over her laid down and died so uh, i walked in and that's what i saw i just went pale i guess they pushed me out of the house and it just devastated me we, he took me to my mom's only about four blocks away but again the next day national news uh, on print and paul harvey as a love story for which it was and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There and Rachel at his wedding. Me and Annette laughing like crazy. 
Another glare. There we go. Whoa, whoa. There's mom, uh, picture of wins, my three sons, me and little Eddie, Big Eddie, Kenny, David Castales, in a slap fight. <laughs> cool. Little Eddie. Uh, my three moms. I'm like five years old there praying over them. Fire. Boom, boom, boom. And then we go to the strobes and the 9-11 display here. Uh, one of the stories behind that strobe light is um, when that's activated, I have that wand on it, clear wand, so it shows the, uh, like a eight, nine inch full uh, red and blue strobe there. But you take that off and you have it in your belt as a paramedic working the dark roads. When a lot of people get hit and killed, the workers in the dark, on the dark roads, in the rain or whatever, just in the dark. But I notice if you put that on your belt, just activate it like that, you know, they're going to see you from way up. That's highly visible. And they're going to avoid you if they don't aim right for it. <laughs> yeah. And here I got the little 360 going with the uh, Squad 61. This was, uh, you can see here the story donated by the uh, Seagrave workers who paid for that out of their checks and donated it to the FDNY, a rescue company with a, this was a state-of-the-art rescue truck with twin nozzles on it, deck-mounted uh, nozzles with a high-pressure uh, pumper there. There's the Leary Firefighters flag. It's on the back of our my shirts. That Dennis there in the bottom signed that for me. He, he uh, designed that flag. And the names of all 343 firefighters that passed that day and were killed that way. Um, then there's the Twin Towers. As they stood on September 10th, 2001. Uh, quote by President Bush. We will never waver we will never, we will not tire, we shall not falter, and we shall not fail. Peace and freedom will prevail. President George Bush on September 11th. There's a, a coin, that silver part of that was um, from silver eagles that were in the basement of the Twin Towers that melted. They used that silver to produce those coins. Here's my 360 flasher on there, and uh, here's a, a letter, Al Levine, my dear friend who was the, the FDNY, and it's just too long a story to go into, but I sat with him, watched these unfold on 9-11. He lost uh, 25 close friends, one of them right here, Mark Schwartz. And um, yeah, we watched it together. So there's this and a letter from the city of Tulare to, we sent him a card signed by over a hundred people from Tulare, first responders, just, uh, it was a really neat. And I made up a list, cause he couldn't get it. I was able to get it, a, a full list of the, all those that perished that day. And I was able to obtain that and get it to him. Cause he couldn't, back then the, uh, you couldn't call in and he couldn't get a hold. So I was able to do that for him. And that just worked out. And speaking of that, he, when he went back, he got this piece of the Twin Towers and gave it to me, along with a copy of that photo there, that famous photo. He actually knew the photographer of all things. 
and was able to get me a copy of that because it's um, you can't copy it because it's copyrighted. Anyway, there's a the mints honoring the 9/11. Really nice silver medals, honor and hope. And you see the other with the the water in the background is for um, everlasting life. And then you see the twin towers there. Always remember 9/11. And uh, this is a last man down, Steve Picotti. Wonderful story of a, one of the firefighters that was survived, but he was up in the building, one of the last ones out. Um, again, I got the lights going there. So let's see, what else we got? There's the Leary Foundations. We sent, we had that built and sent that to them. Uh, state-of-the-art communications rig, which like I said the communications were down so that uh, here Dennis has the podium handing that over to the chief there Again that was built that model was built to me. Let's see. There's the Larry's appreciation letter to me uh, Let's see uh, Yes, that was built for me by the father of this baby uh, here he is right here him and his wife but he was so afraid uh, he had a, a child due on September 11th he freaked out about that but I talked to him about it and I said that was wonderful like an angel for me to remember that day so on 2005 Brent was born sure enough on September 11th so yeah the long long story he's uh, 15 now Let's see, there he is there when he went to see the Twin Towers Memorial. And, you know, also September 11th was my dad's birthday of all things. Get that. There's Oval. Yep. My dad was born September 11th. Go figure. There's dad again, right in the middle there. There's a artillery fire department hat, cap badge from his time. And then some more units. Various units. Uh, there's Mayor Giuliani when he was uh, not insane. Uh, and I met him and he signed the shirt I was wearing quite a moment. I got to thank him. Again, we won't get into that political stuff, but uh, back when he was not insane. And then there's some old books when I was a kid. Uh, let's find out about firemen, let's find out about police. More patches, more rigs, FDNY. And that's about it, folks. Boom. Since we're dark here, let me see if this will go white and not kill the flashlight. Whoa! There we go, the different lights that this offers. Red flash. Let me pick this up easier. And then the red and blue strobe again. Steady blue, better not to shine on the light, just do it like this. Green, red, there, and then red flash, and then again the strobe, and uh, uh, 
that's the light from the camera. And there's a powerful 4,000 lumen light. Let's see the strobe mode there. I think it, there we go. Too bright. Well, like I say, 4,000 lumens. It's quite a bit. Uh, shut that down to this, this, that. Okay, that's it, kids.